Sami Oba Debu Bibiara so many. Obo a musical success story. On 18th August 2011, the music industry experienced a new whiff of leadership as the Musicians Union of Ghana elected a young hip life rapper, buoyant and charismatic, as its president. Bais Osekufu, popularly known as Obu. The award for the hip life artist of the year goes to Obu. And artist of the year, Obu! Abu! Life song of the year 2004 goes to Obo. The hip life album of the year 2004 goes to Obo. Uh, the award for the most popular song of the year, Ghana Music Awards 2005 for the year 2004 goes to Coco Tiba. This multiple award-winning musician laid his but a musical career down for the administrative work of the union. Most people were awed by the intelligence exuded by the 30-year-old rapper during his campaign. Before he wanted to become the president of the music union, he had, with his own money, organized a successful two or three-year road safety campaign with a song, with stakeholder mappings, with um, television commercials, with radio commercials, man of war. He started with what he called a Jumapa, and um, he had a wonderful membership drive um, activity. He also went into other enterprises and activities that were to bring money to the union. I actually drove to Tamale in the morning before the elections we prayed, and then during the election, a boy, small boy, 30-something-year-old boy, or 20-something-year-old boy, beat giants like Nanato 4, Jedubli Ambule, Willy Roy, may his soul rest in peace. And out of 140 people, he won by 66 votes, which one was mine. Upon his election, Obo fulfilled his campaign promise to the union by launching the Ajumapa policy, the campaign promise that gave him the edge over his fellow aspirants. Obo and his team embarked on the process of restructuring the union by hiring qualified professionals to run the union's head office. My name is Michael Amofa Boateng of Paka Alote Consult. And um, since Obo invited us as auditors of uh, Musica, we've been working on the accounts up to date. What I can say is that Obo has done a lot to improve the organization in terms of his I mean, revenue reasonabilities. They engaged the services of professional chartered accountants to establish financial policies and hired a qualified accountant on staff to handle the union's finances. They also hired a chartered marketer with an MBA to establish the union's administrative unit. In 2015, after a successful four-year tenure, the delegated musicians once again gave Obo of the mantle of leadership to continue his Ijumapa and also consolidate the gains of the union. As part of the restructuring agenda, a nationwide membership drive with meaningful benefits that members could access to enhance their work was launched and carried out. The world over, every union is as strong as its membership. In order to achieve this strength for Musica, Obo introduced membership categorization. On my own, uh, differences are uh, musicians in any term, like a bit in different categories. A uh, bit is a pro, a bit is a um, student, a bit is a standard membership, a bit is a partner uh, standard for Nibi. A system that puts membership in different categories and ascribed various benefits to them. 
This agenda was to make the union more attractive to new and old members to ensure growth and continuity by increasing the benefits package to include the union assisting with members' promotions, giving them access to industry information through the union's quarterly newsletter and discounts on recordings. These benefits include legal advice, promotion, travel advice and the like. Eight years on, Obo's leadership has come under some scrutiny as some people in the music industry and others observing from outside have shared their opinions on his tenure. Uh, we all know the eight years that he lived in his office as a musician in Ghana president. It has not been an easy journey for him. I think that he brought a certain energy, a certain vibrancy to the musicians' union. He's been able to move to all the challenges and all the frustrations and everything to making sure that during his term as a president, the musicians enjoy a better life. He obviously inherited a union that um, had a lot of problems. It's not as if they don't have problems still, but had a lot of problems. Their public image wasn't very good. Um, their own internal quarrels and issues with copyright, issues with money, issues with uh, welfare, issues with the general way people saw or see musicians and the union itself. Uh, it was difficult. Uh, the union was at quite a very low ebb when he became president. But to his credit, uh, he's brought some life. He brought a lot of vibrancy into it. He under his watch or during his tenure, the Musicians' Union had a fresh breath of life, if you like. Seemingly, the most notable legacy of Obo's administration is the establishment of a fund for older musicians which supports them with their health and critical needs and provides them with periodic stipends. Yeah, I, President Obo, I'm with Al Dubai. Abua, Abua, Papa, Papa, pa. especially Abua me, Abua Opia. Ewa de di masi mi mami o, mi bi asi kai mani o, mi e bi bi a eni o, mi de Abua bebre. Se nami ni mi bi a na me ko inte bi bi o, bi se famso, nami se uti e bi. Di apu ano ano offer me se, obaye program bi o se chao sinto bi se mbi bi. Brilliant ideas at his side. Namekan, and told me, Shima, Miko Bobby. Me and so, or Mammy to Miss Caffine. Am I born and take you know? Now, many by now, baby, man, and me, Madame, my friend, Mr. Pesdo, and then we knew. Also, oh, shall I pressure or come over them people to come away? My baby, I bear Miss Ham fought very four or five times. Now, I said, Bimpo, never from the country, and so I'm well from the aging and from new aging, sister, and new and also, me, I mean, young one or so, okay, oh dear. So you don't call the every kind of bar, and I'm passo. On my mature letter, and I'm the coy, music honor, maybe be a young so, as a bob or pay be the man. Before you call me so chrono, no miss can have maybe two or four. Why are they? Apart from all joke, why are they? Why are they? I'm sure Obo will be remembered for things like the Aging Musicians Welfare Fund, which was um, a very positive move he made towards ensuring that musicians who unfortunately have uh, succumbed to old age and the, um, you know, the ailments and the frail nature of old age would have something to fall back on. He wanted to go back and bridge the gap 
between the old and the new and especially to encourage the new that if you go into old age like the old have done you probably would have a fund that would look after you in your old age but i guess one of the biggest things you'll be remembered for is putting music in general on the national entertainment calendar for every year with a grand ball now as far as i'm concerned about six or seven editions of the grand ball have seen a sitting president as a special guest i remember president mahama ex-president mahama was a guest on a number of occasions president akufuado current president akufuado has also been a guest i wish my good friend obo the best of luck in his future undertakings one cannot do it all but i believe you've done a yeoman's job i can only say congratulations to obo for ensuring that these things happen he also made music uh, for want of a better word he made it sexy in a lot of ways under your leadership you have not only worked to improve the welfare of our nation's aging musicians but have also involved music uh, in critical aspects of our nation's progress such as the fight against corruption in ghana following on from your advocacy for a peaceful election in 2016. regardless of how people may perceive him and perceive his presidency. I think that Musica has lost a great, great leader. Your successor has large boots to fill in continuing the good work you have begun and moving Ghana music to an even higher pedestal. Obo and his team also initiated a Musica Academy in collaboration with Nafti and the School of Performing Arts to educate musicians on the rudiments of music and trends in show business. Quite a few people have come through Nafti who are very music oriented. Some of the students who were interested in music were asking me, why don't we develop a program in music, uh, in music production at Nafti? So I started thinking about it and it made sense. So when I saw Obo, I went to tell him that this is what we are planning at NAFTI. NAFTI at that time was trying to expand to become a creative arts uh, university. This enables artists, musicians, whoever you are in the music industry to take a diploma course to master your craft. And this is just something amazing. Musica was going to provide the instruments. So he went around raising money to buy the instruments. We accredited the pro uh, program with NAPTEX as a professional program. And then we started as a certificate program that would move on to um, a, a diploma program, and eventually become part of a bachelor's program. So it's become part of uh, NAPTEX's um, curricula. Subsequently, Obo led the revolution to achieve an effective administration of GAMRO in line with accepted standards and international best practice. Together with Rex Omar, Ahmed Banda, aka Bandex, Kojo NG, Yao Osborne, and Charles Amoa. Since the inception of GAMRO in May 2011, no general meeting has been held, though some members of the interim body, including myself, have been advocating for it. GAMRO has operated in the last three years without an approved annual budget. This is not about any personality. This is about the very first time we need to do the right thing once and for all for Mother Ghana. The industry is a very turbulent area. It's an area that every time you see musicians doing a lot of infighting, uh, a lot of backbiting, a lot of harassment back and forth, uh, a lot of instability in, 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 in that terrain. And uh, we realized that Obo has brought some sanity over the years gone by into the industry. He masterminded and led the ousting of the Carlos Sechi led administration, which did not hold the mandated yearly AGMs and refused to conduct elections years after the expiration of their term. I recollect uh, the infamous, infamous case of uh, Anand Padu and then uh, the 99 others that uh, they brought the case against the, the board of uh, Gambo. Uh, some of the people like Obo and the rest considered the point that they were wrong because uh, they had exceeded their time as board members of Gambo and therefore uh, voluntarily uh, exited power and allowed a new people to take, take, take control of, the, of Gambo's affairs. He's a, he's a good guy. If you are close to him, you know. I mean, people will say, oh, 
uh, when your boy was a musical president, he did this, he did that. Anybody who is truthful enough will tell you that Obo changed the game of musical presidency. He raised the bar. In the spirit of executing the most important item on the agenda of increasing the number of musicians in the union, Obuo and his team initiated a new membership categorization program with accompanying benefits including legal advice, facilitation in musical works, registration and royalty collection, business support services, discounted services and a lot more. This directly resulted to the re-registration of over a thousand members, the establishment of a new membership database, and a 200% increment in membership. This system when was introduced, changed the fortunes of the industry. Immediately, we saw about a thousand people having re-registered. So in the first year, in the first time in the bar office, you know, it may be a um, registration of crowd or national theater, a kukudam, depending for musicians, a kukudam, and buy, I'm buying numbers by register. I know, as a fact, that on board, through his instrumentality, has also expanded the, the, the base. Uh, now, the number of musicians in Ghana who are registered in their books are much more higher than uh, what, what I knew them to be. In fact, by the end of Obo's tenure, membership of Musiga had doubled from what he met at Musiga. It is Obo who made Musiga um, relevant. I mean, he brought Musiga into visibility. You know, he created a whole lot of um, programs uh, in terms of brand positioning and everything. He did very well. Um, so nobody, of course, as a leader, you cannot lead any organization or any group of people that you have everybody saying good things about you, but that's part of leadership. So, so far as I'm concerned, um, the next musical president will have to work very hard to be able to attain what Hobo was able to attain. Would you commend uh, President Hobo for making people get interested for even you know, coming out to register as members of uh, Musica in this country. Obo also penned the proposal that brought about the controversial but historic 2 million Ghana cities government of Ghana subvention for the music industry, which was accessed by Musica. This was the first time any creative arts organization had access to government funding through a budgetary allocation. The fantastic thing that he did for me was that um, he was able to governize um, money even though he wasn't giving the, the original amount to really do a proper research when it comes to the music industry. I mean, for years since we started music in this country, I mean, you're going to start from um, Obobaji, Adolfo and the rest. We have not gotten anything that we want to call research when it comes to the music industry. It was his reign that he really galvanized, got KPMG, to do a proper research when it comes to the music industry. The 2012 budget statement read, Beginning in 2012, government will collaborate with the music industry to identify the potential of the industry through an impact assessment study. The study will be used to support the preparation of a medium-term strategic framework that will guide the development of the industry. Government will also support the organization of the 2012 Ghana Music Fair. An amount of 2 million has been allocated to support the creative arts industry in 2012. In line with Obuo's Ijumapa promise to ensure appropriate policies for the music industry, KPMG was commissioned to conduct a comprehensive study of the Ghana music industry, determine needs assessment, and to identify the economic contribution of the sector to GDP. The study was also to make recommendations to government and also advise on policy direction and matters like public-private investment in the music sector. As of 2013, the study indicated that music sector's contribution to GDP was a little under 1%. During the first term of Obuo's leadership, an amount of 100,000 Ghana cities was distributed among the 10 regional offices of Musica for capacity building and developmental projects. I used to be the regional chairman of the Musician Union of Ghana in the first four years of President Obuo's reign. One of the landmark achievements that I, I, I always want to touch on is when we were able to acquire the support from the government and when that money came through I remember we were able to support all the regional offices of the Musician Union of Ghana and uh, every region received 10,000 capacity support and it was a very good thing that happened to the union because it was very crucial at that time 
uh, all the regions needed something to, to fall back on to be able to carry out projects in their regions. This amount came from the 2 million CD budget allocated to the union received from the government of Ghana. He also partnered with Midland to give artists loans um, to better their crafts. Obua instituted this loan scheme with low interest rate and relatively collateral free to enable music members access funds for their projects. We realized for a start that uh, quite at times musicians have a lot of frustrations assessing capital for either video shoot, for either music recording and for other purposes, even with events. If you should assess that loan, you automatically have the opportunity to see some of your dreams come through, especially if you're a musician and you have a project that is going to play a key role in developing what you are as a musician. But when with Obo came, he sat all of us and asked what is the best way can we do to be able to provide a quick scheme to allow musicians to access capital. He was interested in helping musicians um, get their hands on some money as capital, as seed capital for their records and their videos and their shows and their tours. And so President Obos decided that, Ernest, let us put up a scheme together and then go and talk to Midland and see the kind of facility they can be able to arrange for us. In fact, it was welcomed by all stakeholders, including all of us, or even on a drawing table. And when we did it, lo and behold, it was approved. And trust me, a lot of musicians benefited from the facility. With that, we will be able to hire more professionals to work with us so that the industry can grow. And it was collateral free. This was one of the biggest things that I can always and for always remember President Obo for that kind of genuity, for that kind of level-mindedness, for providing a facility and thinking about musicians during difficult moments for their performances and their work. I mean, this for me is enormous and it's a good achievement that all of us as stakeholders will forever remember him. During the second term of office, the Future Project also gave some of these young artists the opportunity to perform outside Ghana. The, the, the key focus of the Future Project is to provide a mentorship avenue for young ones. The Future Project is for the up-and-coming artist uh, who wants to enhance his music career. It has helped we, the young ones, to know each other, vibe with each other, be in one group and call each other for help. He's brought together the Future Project to bring artists like myself together. We, we, we chat in a forum, we, we link up, we make music. To have them call us into a room and actually sit us down and talk to us about a plan to move the industry forward was really like a great meeting to have. And some of us have gone on to, um, you know, conquer Ghana and conquer the world. And shout to President Obo for that. When Obo came into power, he saw to the formalization of the Ghana Music Awards arrangement with Charter House and the provision of car prizes for winners. A very good person. I've worked with him over the years and um, he's helped me in so many ways. Um, he, he took me to like my first um, tour in China. Um, he helped me get my first car ever. Also, like he's, you know, he's connected me with, you know, very prominent people in the industry. Uh, to mention a few, like he's done so much for me to be very honest and I'm just hoping that people will also, you know, give him his flowers while he's alive. For the first time, a formal agreement was signed between Charterhouse and Musica on the organization of the Ghana Music Award scheme and with 20% of seats on the VGMA board reserved for Musica. During his tenure, Obo instituted the Musica Week Festival. Again, it's a whole week to celebrate the essence of Ghanaian music. The quality of the production, the quality of the presentations, impressive. I welcome and invite all Ghanaians, Africans and everybody to take part in the Ghana Music Week. Ghana Music Honors, International Music Expo, Musical Presidential Grand Ball, GMW International Launches and a Santiman Art Ball and awards as event brands to raise funds for the union's projects to promote Ghana music and create jobs for the music members and musicians in general. After a successful eight-year tenure, on 30th of August 2019, during an emergency National Executive Council meeting, second highest decision-making body of the union, President Obo, after accounting for his stewardship, handed over his leadership of the union to the National Executive Council. He said, And as per the constitution of the Musician Union of Ghana, uh, in Article 6, where it states that 
the president of the union cannot serve beyond eight years. I so now have handed over officially my work as president of the Musica National Executive Council appointed interim executives to steer the affairs of the union until elections are held. This came as a surprise to many musicians and music fanatics, but Bais Osekufo, aka President of War, has once again won the hearts of many for his respect for the rule of law. Although his administration has had its fair share of scrutiny, criticism and opposition, many still admit that Obuo remains the best president Musica has had in its entire history. One cannot do it all. But I believe you've done a yeoman's job. I think that Musica has lost a great, great leader. Obo has achieved amazing things and I absolutely love him. This is really pulled out the work he's been doing for the industry, but he has really done a lot that uh, we all might not even have an idea about. He's done amazing, amazing for the industry. I mean, to be honest, we know how people go on social media and bash our president, but if you look, if you're near him and you're close to him, you can see some of the impact, some of the things he's done. One of the Obor administration's greatest opposers, music producer Apietus, even acknowledges this fact. It's been, it's been a hot journey, if I should put it. It's had its own ups and downs, but he's been one of the musical presidents that actually made it attractive. When asked what his greatest regret was in a recent interview, Obor said, of all the things I promised music members and musicians in my Ijumapa acronym manifesto, it is only unity, that is, promoting unity among musicians and music industry structures to have a common purpose that I believe my administration couldn't fully achieve, although we tried our hardest. These are the last few words some industry players, stakeholders, musicians and a lot more have for President Obo as he leaves office. At the presentation of his vision for music, really triggered my interest in assisting him to succeed. Oh boy, is a, you know, has a remarkable personality. You know, I like him because of his drive. You know, I mean, he's, he's a leader in that respect. Him bringing people who had no experience in business like myself, but with some entrepreneurial background and experience, could bring other talents, other network that we had to partner the technical abilities of musical to make his reign different from what we had experienced before. Um, Obuo is somebody who has been a major supporter of the Ghana Culture Forum. And that is a framework within which I engage with him as president of the Musicians Union of Ghana. I would want to say Ayuko, Ayuko, Nipa Beyebi, Nawambeye Ninyina. President Obuo, I wish you well in your next endeavor. Mama, can you there? Nyamin Shrao. Nyamin Shrao. He's done his bit. That's a key saying. Thank you, Mr. President. You know we'll forever remember you for this great achievement that you brought into the art. He told us a story. I mean, from down to if I was a president and then he's moving on. His story is what he told us, and that is what we are seeing. I have learned a lot from you, and I know that with your agility, your intelligence, and your accommodating ear, you are going to serve Ghana even much, much better than we have experienced you. God bless your soul. Thank you very much. Keep moving. I wish my good friend Obor the best of luck in his future undertakings. <laughs>